Okay, initial impressions. When I first plugged the battery into it, the battery was pretty much dead, but I did make a test print, and I am over the moon for this label maker. It sounds corny, but I am just absolutely amazed at how well this thing not only prints out, but also the margins that it, it can achieve. So as an example, if I were to print out a heat shrink tube, you can see that there's a little bit of a, a line here. This piece here out of the Epson, so right here you can see I've got P24 printed on it. This is what the brother would waste and scrap, about roughly about an inch of tube to print out this little P24 label. The only time you get this is if you first load a fresh cartridge and there's that little bit sticking out of the side. When you print out a tube or any type of label after that, this is what you get. This is what I was expecting from the brother. This is what I had hoped to achieve with the brother. This is what I get without making any adjustments to any of the settings in the in the PX900. This is it. This is this is the label. This is what this is what I had hoped for. I did some I did some tests And I printed out, I printed out, I'm sitting on my couch. <laughs> I printed out a label for some terminal blocks just to test it out. Now, the terminal blocks, you can have a little divider with a line. You could have um, dotted line, dash line. I went with the solid line. You could do a, you could do a frame. So I could box in each of these with a square. And, I mean, you could see the print quality is nice and crisp. And these are small terminal blocks. You can adjust the size by ten thousandths of an inch. So the first, uh, the first test I did was a little bit too long. I shortened it up a little bit, and now the line is right on the money. Or give or take right on the money. I can shorten it up a little bit more. But if I do a gang of five or ten... You know, you got to make sure that if you're doing a gang of 10, you got to make sure that your spacing is set properly. A gang of, you know, two, three, or five, it's not going to be, it's going to be minimal. Um, but yeah, uh, initial impressions of the Epson PX series of Label Maker. The PX700 is very much the same as far as the keyboard interface and from my understanding the margin capability the difference between the 700 and the 900 is the 700 is 180 dpi resolution this is 360 dpi resolution um, but the the general you know the, the gist of it is going to be the same except for this can print a one and a half inch wide label where the PX700 could only print the one inch label. I'm going to say that with my coupon code, this thing is worth every, every penny. Again, just going based on the amount of material that you don't waste. That is just a clean print. There's no... There's no half cut at the beginning. There's no one inch of wasted margin. There's no having to break out scissors to trim the stuff. It's all that that that's all bubkis, and it says right in the brother manual that you might have to use scissors. How about instead of using scissors, I'll just get me a Epson PX nine hundred. And you can go right to hell. <laughs> so that's what I that's what I have to say about that. It's got an auto shut off. 
Um, again, it's got lithium battery as per my initial video. But after using this for a little while this evening, I am over the moon for my little label maker. I am super excited about going to the school on Monday and labeling all of our wires and getting everything get everything tagged properly and I, I have nothing more to say about this until you know until we start using it but it's got it's got a nifty little library of symbols so you got your ANSI symbols for different types of... There you go, guy falling off the cliff. Guy eating the pavement. Make sure you wear your safety boots. Make sure you're a character in Final Fantasy. You gonna die. Wash COVID off your hands with acid. If you go back, you've got a whole bunch of arc flash symbols. You're gonna die. You're gonna <laughs> you're gonna die and it's gonna hurt the whole time. Under Electrical, you know, you got your standard symbols, got diode symbol, a whole bunch of other symbols. The one thing that I do like about this is that if I want to do a ground, the ground is actually built right into the queue. So if you press the caps button, which switches you to the upper register here, and I press the Q, I can print out the ground symbol. And if I print that out, because what the hell. You can see that, okay, there's a little bit of, on this one there is a little bit of a tab. But it half cuts it, and that's all you have. I was able to get... A half cut from company XYZ. I, I don't want to beat them to death, but my my goodness. That's all you get. That That's your scrap. That little piece is your scrap. And now I have a little half inch piece of heat shrink. I could set the length of that to a, to a fixed length. If I use the length button here, it can come down, go to set. And I'll say make it one... 0 0.0 inch or actually I think the other one was auto set to 0 0.9 0 0.9 set and I'm going to center it and then I'll print it I've got a centered label with a little ground symbol on it that's the same exact size as the P24 that I had printed out as the auto set. It's perfect. It's beautiful. So I can't I can't say enough good about this one because I've had such <laughs> such poor experiences with the other ones and again speaking from uh, speaking to other people about theirs they had the same issue that I have with with mine. You know, they're they're other brands, not even just Brother Brady and Dymo and you know all those guys. They don't mind you wasting the the tape. These guys are like, no, nah, we're we're gonna we're gonna try to limit that as much as possible. So, Epson, you guys get my thumbs up. You you are awesome. Your company is awesome. Your customer service people have been fantastic all week. Uh, I went as far as putting up the information on my social media. You know, I put it on my Facebook. I put it on YouTube, obviously. I put it on LinkedIn and heard back from 
you know, heard back from the people from Epson even on the LinkedIn page. So they're very, you know, they're, they're, they're right there. As soon as you tag them in something, they are right there with the thank yous and, and basically the open arms, you know, if you need us, let us know, blah, blah, blah. And I've got, you know, I've, I've basically have, <laughs> I basically have, uh, Melissa, the, the, uh, the, the expert, on the Epson product on speed dial. She's like, call me, let me know. We have to set up a phone call. I have to run you through this thing. You have to, you know, you have to, you just have to <laughs> learn the ways. But it's very intuitive. I'm picking it up fairly quickly. Everything is pretty self-explanatory. I want to do serializing. I press this button. If I hit the shift key and press that it goes into an advanced seri uh, serialize mode i want to do barcode i press barcode i can choose the type of barcode i could print out qr codes so this is going to take a little bit of getting used to but general navigation is pretty easy you can Save files on here. Um, speaking with my buddy Craig. Hey, Craig. He said that the computer software is very easy to use. It's very nice to navigate. It's very intuitive. I haven't installed it yet. I've just been poking around on the unit itself. I'm going to go by what he says, but I'm going to install the software, and I'm going to play around with that too. But as of this recording, I am not using that software, but I'm going to put that in and I can report back. <laughs> so, uh, this, this one's taking too long. Thanks for watching. And, uh, I'll see you soon with some labels. <laughs>